hey guys welcome back to my channel the name is India stay motivated Murray and if you like the vibe go ahead and subscribe so guys today I'm going to be using some Mary Kay products I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and how I feel about these products um, my brows are already done I do have a detailed beginner friendly step-by-step -step brow tutorial so I'm gonna try and link that down in the description box for you guys also I already primed my eyes for eyeshadow I did that already um, moisturized my face and I do emphasize guys whether you're doing makeup or not doing makeup please please moisturize your skin it's not just for today it's like for five ten years down the road so you'll be doing your skin a favor okay so um for my moisturizer i did use my mary Kay 3d time wise miracle set it is so good awesome 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 product to try guys i do recommend you try them out it is a spf 30 <laughs> So you do get, you know, protection from the sun and stuff like that. So that's definitely a plus. I've been using it for the past um, three weeks. Yes, three weeks now. And um, already I can see um, changes in my skin. My skin is brighter. There's an obvious glow and no breakouts or anything, as you can see. So I'm going to get straight into doing my makeup foundation for today is Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Foundation and I'm going to be using, let me bring that closer so you guys can actually see it, I'm going to be using the shade Bronze uh, 150 today. Um, no, we're not going to do that yet. <laughs> I didn't prime. Usually I don't prime on camera but because I wanted you to see this product this is also a Mary Kay primer. Guys, I usually prime ahead of doing my video so that the primer can go into my skin and do what it needs to do. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to be priming on camera. And this is a Mary Kay primer. So I'm going to be adding just a little bit, you know, to my T-zone area because that's where I get oily the most. And I'm gonna be adding my forehead here and you know just mainly in the t-zone area and um, what the primer does guys it minimizes your pores it creates a barrier between um, your skin and the foundation so the foundation actually gets something to sit on and in the end it does give you a better you know just better finish results at the end of your own whole um makeup routine and i do recommend priming guys i do okay don't skip this step okay so um that's enough primer yeah that's enough primer for me so um after priming, I am going to be using, now is when we're going to be using the foundation. So foundation today is the Mary Kay. Uh, mm. So I just realized it looks like I was not recording for what portion you have missed. I'm not sure. I've already done my foundation. I've already added my highlighter, which is the LA Girl. And that's in the shade warm beige uh, foundation is the Mary Kay foundation and that's in the shade um, bronze 150 okay and so I'm gonna be just blending out my highlight right now So that's already blended out. I'm gonna go straight into setting it with my um, 
Maybelline's translu translucent powder and this is the master chrome so I am going to be setting everywhere that I highlighted I'm gonna be setting that so this is a product on a sponge I'm just gonna push it into my skin to make sure that the highlight is set there is no creasing and you just wanna push it in and just blend it out guys Okay, that's it for setting my highlighter. I'm going to go into adding some contour. I'm gonna be using my Black Radiance contour palette and my e.l.f. contour brush right here. And I'm just gonna add some contour to add back some shape and shadow back into the face so it does not look white and just casty with the powder and concealer that we just added. gonna go in and add some contour to my nose and I'm using my eco tools small contour brush and you want to take that up onto the sides of your nose and take it all the way up into the bottom of your brows and that gives you, you know, a more snatched looking nose. It does, so yeah. Okay, that's it for my nose contour. For my eyes today, I'm gonna be using one palette just to keep it simple for my beginners that I'm not going from palette to palette and you know, it's a little bit confusing for them and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be using Juvia's Place, the Saharan's palette. And we're gonna try and do a little eye thingy 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 today um, so the sh first shade that I'm going into today is the shade that is called Katsina and that's the one at the bottom right there and I'm gonna be taking that into my crease with my um, Ruby Kisses blending brush I'm gonna take that into my crease and just um, blend it out. So for my next color, I'm gonna be taking my Juvia's Place blending brush and I'm gonna be using the shade, um, it's more like a burnt orange. It's called Katsina. And I'm gonna take that below. This shade is called Jamelia. Yeah, this shade right here, it's called Jamelia. And I'm gonna be taking that below the shade that I just added. I'm gonna take that into the lower half of my crease and just blend it out. Yeah. 
okay so i think that is enough of jamelia i'm gonna be adding a little bit of the shade chad and for that i'm gonna be using my morphe's pencil brush let's see So to add a little bit more intensity to the eyes, I'm going to be taking the black and that shade is called Chad and I'm going to take a, just a little bit at a time. You don't want to go in with too much black when you're doing black guys, just a little bit and I'm going to take that just at the end right there. So I think I'm gonna go back over with the um, Jamelia right here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Jamelia just to soften the edges of the black that we added. gonna go in with the shade let me get a packing brush for that this is also from elf um, with a elf packing brush guys I'm gonna be taking the shade Wadabi. it's like a green gold shade right here at the top so I'm gonna take in that gonna be taking that one to put on my lids y'all know the drill Doing the same thing for the next eye. gonna go back and add some of the first shade that I started with which was the Catsino that's more like a brown nude kind of shade I'm gonna be adding some more of that just at the top to make sure that everything is just blended out So for my under eye, I'm going to be taking the shade uh, Jamila and that is the orangey shade and this is my um, 
Oh, beauty treats. Yeah, let me show you guys what that is. This is my beauty treats um, smudger brush. So I'm gonna use that exactly under my eyes, my under eye. And I'm adding the Jamelia, that's the burnt orange shade. Adding some of that. Tip, I am going to be using just to blend that out I'm going to be using my brush and I didn't add any more products guys it's the same shade let me show you guys so it's the same new shade right here that was started with the Katsina it's already on the brush so I'm just going to use that to blend out the harshness of the the Jamila okay that looks good and then for my inner corner, I am gonna be adding some of the Watabe Elf Angled Brush, just to add that. it for the eyes guys I think so um, let me see let me check <laughs> let me check and I'm um, a double check also <laughs> yes guys you gotta check and see what's going on so let me see um, yeah that's not looking bad So I'm gonna go into bronzing with my baby girl from Milani that's in the shade Solil. And this is more like a bronzer and highlighter at the same time. I love it so much. I'm gonna use that to bronze up my face. And I do use a lot guys like I do this is so it just gives that natural glow like it's coming out of your skin and that's why I love it so much it's so pretty okay so that's that for that I feel like I'm gonna do a little bit more blending on the eyes just to make sure everything is nice and seamless and all the colors are just, you know, fading into each other. Okay, that looks good. 
I am going to be setting my entire face with my MAC powder. And yeah. that then I am going to spray my face just to make sure that everything is set in place all the powders you know all the creams and stuff is just gonna melt into each other I'm gonna be using my skin Denavia oil control setting spray and y'all know what I need next I need her okay I need her so I'm just going to spray a little bit of this setting spray. Then I'm going to have my fan go to work and let that dry in just a little bit and then use my sponge just to make sure that everything is blended in and patted all the way in. Okay, so my next step is going to be highlighting. Today I'm going to be using to highlight my Wet n Wild highlighter and this is in the shade um, Precious Petals. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to take some onto my e.l.f. fan brush. That's my help fan brush right there. Gonna be adding it to the highest points of my cheeks. Adding some onto the tip of my nose. Also the bridge of my nose and just a little bit under the bro bone as well just a little nothing too crazy taking some onto my lips as well Okay, and I'm gonna go back in with my sponge just to blend down that highlighter. Take away any or harshness that's there. <laughs> just to blend everything down and blend everything in. Okay, that is looking better and for my lips today it's gonna be my um, brown lip liner I'm gonna take that let's get this mirror closer where I can actually see something that's going on because your girl is blind she's wearing glasses right now so yeah I'm 
my lips I'm gonna be using um, from the galaxy galaxy collection this um, is a like a glitter lip gloss it's called Milky Way and it's from the brand um, sister cosmetics and I love this lip gloss guys it is so pretty you got these little flecks inside these little diamond flex it is just amazing and again I need my small mirror to see what's going on with that so yeah For mascara, I'm gonna be using my um, Mary Kay. This is a Mary Kay mascara, and it's called the Ultimate Mary Kay mascara. And I'm gonna use that to extend my lashes. You want to make sure that you wiggle it at the root guys and then take it all the way out I find that is the best way to use it at least for me that works I wiggle it at the root and then I just pull it out wiggle at the root and then you know you want to go over with a couple more strokes and stuff And guys, I cannot do mascara without doing my bottom lashes. So I'm adding some to my bottom lashes as well. Lashes, I just like to see when they wake up and they come to life and yeah. So we're almost at the end and I'm gonna come back to you guys with the complete look. <laughs> guys I am back with the finished look so here we have it it's finished um, let me know what you think <laughs> please comment in the comment section below let me know what you think about this look but seriously though guys um, by the time you see this video I would have read already been signed up with Mary Kay I've decided guys that I'm gonna sign up the foundation is awesome when you talk about matte finish box checked when you talk about weightless box checked when you talk about skin like box check like this foundation is gonna be my new favorite like max stop making my um max match master and <laughs> I got a new replacement like I'm not even sorry anymore that they don't do that foundation anymore because Mary Kay matte 3d foundation time wise is my new favorite guys my skin is flawless it's just glowing I, I'm hoping that you guys can see what it is that I'm talking about and I'm just rocking my hoops and my little fro as for the mascara guys right now it looks like I'm wearing lashes and I'm not wearing any lashes that's how much volume the Mary Kay ultimate mascara give my eyes um, I'm gonna try to zoom this in so that you guys can actually see what I'm talking about because this mascara is giving me lashes and yeah I love it I mean the products are good Mary Kay has been around for maybe 58, 59 years, I believe. And for a company that has been around this long, they must be doing something good. So guys, by the time you see this video, I am going to be your new Mary Kay beauty consultant, your beauty rep, 
with all those fabulous Mary Kay products. And I'm gonna make sure that my website is linked below. By the time I edit this video, my website will be in the description box below. So guys, go ahead and support your girl. It's also about earning a few extra dollars and who doesn't wanna do that? Guys, if you wanna sign up, go ahead, sign up. I mean, it's networking with other women, which is good, uplifting each other, empowering each other. I'm all for that. I'm all for entrepreneurship and I am all for earning another dollar and taking a dollar and turn it into two dollars. Yeah, that's your girl right here. So guys, if you wanna sign up, let me know. I can link you to my director and the rest is history. So we've come to the end of another video, guys. So if you like the vibe, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. It's India Stay Motivated Murray. We keep it motivated over here. No negativity, positive vibes only, okay? We keep it real, real positive over here. Remember to subscribe, guys. Remember to like, share, and comment. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Like my camera doesn't want me to go, guys. So <laughs> until I see you again, bye.